Sean, after decades, the archdiocese is breaking its silence. The archbishop hopes that the release of these names will lead to healing. During this coverage, we'll be showing you a list, every name on that list, all 57 people. 14 of the 57 men on the list are still alive, and the local DA says if any credible evidence can be brought against them, he'll consider possible charges. I just came back from yeah, Archbishop like Gregory Amond speaking frankly Friday after releasing the long-awaited list of names. It's the right thing to do, and we're doing it in order to heal and to move forward. And to do that, the Archdiocese is looking back, way back. Some of the men accused of abuse were priests in the early 1900s. The first case happened in 1910. Many of the allegations were brought when past archbishops led the Catholic Church in this area. Leaders like revered archbishops Hannon, Schulte, and Hughes. So we asked Archbishop Amon, did they know? It's very important to, to remember that Archbishop Hannon, Archbishop Schulte, and Archbishop Hughes, during their tenure, all of them removed people from ministry. And in most cases, many cases, informed law enforcement. So it's, it's important, first of all, that all three of them have done that. Archbishop Amon says he was not aware of what was going on inside some churches and schools over the past decade. Personally, I knew a lot of these people, and I didn't know that there was sexual abuse in their backgrounds. The names of the men have been sent to the Orleans Parish District Attorney, who says he will take any credible case and consider prosecuting it. And we give them the information and they decide as a district attorney if they wish to move forward on the information. And the police confirmed to us several months ago that they are looking into at least one name on that list. And based on this list being turned over to the DA, more possibly could follow. For now, we're live in the Carrollton area. I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.